Okay, hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a get ready with me, although most of my face is already done, but I wanna play with eyeshadows and I think I'm gonna do something, why is this mirror so weird? Uh, semi advanced, wait, smile lines, smile lines, smile lines. Uh, so it's probably gonna take a while. Uh, cat hair, and I have a cat sleeping in my lap, and this is my mirror, and my dog is. It's a, it's a circus, and the cat's gone. Okay, delightful. I do have a top on. Although I could be sitting here topless, and you wouldn't know. Is it called clavicles? They're looking really popping today. Hmm. What do you know? So I'm gonna. I wanted to play one more time with this one. I don't know. There was just something about this. I just like. I wanna. I want to play more and I want to use this addiction but I instead of using any of the colors in this palette I'm just gonna pull in an oldie but a goodie from Coastal Sense. I'm gonna start out with like this one I think. What is this one called? It helps editing Angie a lot. I hope you enjoy this editing Angie that I'm telling her what this is called. It's called Sea Lily. Are you happy? Are you? And then I'm gonna play with some of the new uh, Divina shimmers. These were just recently uh, launched. I will try and remember and put this watch video up here in the corner so that you can have a peek in case you want to. What I really wanted to talk about today, should I have cleaned the brush? I'm not doing that good, am I? Huh. You know what, let me clean a brush. So I don't think any of these brushes will enjoy mint right now. I'm gonna clean this one and then I'll be back. Wow, I am... <clears throat> I'm doing good. Okay, so I have cleaned this brush. This is actually from Refer and this is the O1. Uh, it's a bit like the Sigma E25. It's just a bit, bit thinner. Bit thinner and more dainty than the E25 and I can totally see a use for that. So far I think that one and the uh, this one that I, number 05, that is I use for a bronzer brush. Those have been my two favorites so far. So I'm going to use some of that water lily and we're going to put that in the crease and I'm going to chat about my low buy. And my dog also wants to chat. Sweetie, we can't play right now. We just went out. Anyways, we're talking about my low buy. Can this mirror come any closer without being in the picture? Not really. Um, I have been on a low buy now for about seven months, which is mind-blowing when I'm when I'm recording this because I'm recording this on the last of June and I have no idea when it's going up but just know that I'm recording this on the last of June and this look that I'm wearing I'm actually going to wear it to a friend's dissertation party and it's going to be really exciting so uh, I have been on a low buy for seven months now my low buy rules have been that I'm allowing myself to buy three items a month um, and my low buy has not been about false lashes skincare or like the hygiene because those are not the things that I am having a problem with buying too much of. The things that I buy too much of, according to me, at least in the beginning of my low buy year, was that I thought that I was buying too much like face products and too much uh, eyeshadows, too much like color makeup, eyeliners, stuff, everything like that, mascara, eyebrow products, um, lip products, everything like that was in my low by year um, and I did not include uh, repurchases so if I ran out of something I had to buy it with one of my low buy items. Uh, for example I ran out of my eyebrow pencil uh, this month and I used one of my purchases for this month to buy a new eyebrow pencil. And I can already say like and this is very naive of me because probably when I end my low buy year I'm gonna have like change this opinion but from where I stand right now uh, and this I swear I hear Hannah Louise Poston in the back of my head laughing like bitch you don't know anything you know nothing Jon Snow but I feel like I've already learned my lesson oh my god I hear how naive I sound but I feel like the lesson I needed to learn was, uh, and this is what I've learned so far, uh, my weak spot is not blush, highlighter, bronzer, foundation, concealer, powder, lip products, any of that. My weak spot is eyeshadows. And specifically things that go with like eyeshadows like sparkly toppers and palettes and singles. That is my weak spot. Nothing else. Uh, if my, and I feel like, and again, this is naive Angie speaking, I feel like that if I changed my low buy right now 
and I changed it to be you the low buy only being about you can only buy let's say two eyeshadow palettes or two like orders of single shadows you know you know the rules um a month it wouldn't change that much because I don't especially after my uh, declutters I don't have a according to me because I like having a big collection I don't have too many of any of the other categories except foundation but I'm not even interested in foundation like foundation is not something that I'm super interested in although I have to say I would like to own another like light coverage foundation because I feel like there's still something to be had about uh, the one I have like it's not perfect it's good but it's not it's not perfect. Well, I have been blending this for forever, but it's also at the same time looking quite, quite stunning. So I, I feel like what I buy too much of is eyeshadow, and I buy so. It's also the, the most like exciting thing about makeup, according to me. Well, it's not. It's the most exciting release when it comes to new makeup, but when it comes to what I like, like owning the most, and the item I think is most exciting, it's actually loose. Glittery pigments is actually my favorite thing, but after that it's definitely eyeshadow and I have been receiving some PR as well, and I feel that when and I don't know if people if This is something that you have thought about but brands they Try to send you the kind of PR that represents the kind of videos you already do and therefore I get a lot of eyeshadow palettes and eyeshadows because that is the kind of videos that I do um, and and that obviously means that I have an abundance of eyeshadow already and don't need to buy anymore but it's not about what you need because lord knows I don't need any more eyeshadow I don't need any more makeup ever but that's not what my my youtube channel is about my youtube channel isn't about this isn't panning, I'm not trying to pan stuff. I'm not trying to use up everything I have and not buy anything more until I like used up everything I have. That's not what my channel is about. I feel like there could be a happy middle where you don't buy and collect for the sake of collect collecting because I still want to use and love the things I have, but I also love the Options. I love having the options of choosing different things, different days, and going for different brands, different textures, or just different color stories. I, I would never want to be the person that has like two eyeshadow palettes and one every day and one for like the weekend. That's not me. That's never going to be me. Uh, well, I say now, uh, again, naively, but I just, I like the option. I like having a lot. For example, today when I grabbed this, I was like, oh, I really want to use this again. And then I was like, so what do I want to use with it? And I ended up using this. This is probably like two years old. I built this palette from Coastal Scent Singles. And I have I have swatched this on my channel, I think. I'm pretty sure I have a video swatching this whole palette, like everything that's in it. And I, I loved having the option of shopping my own stash, trying to figure out like, so what do you want to use with this palette? What do you want to have? Like, what would be your preferred color to have together with this teal? This is very... What is her from the Drew Carey show? Mimi? Is that what I am? <laughs> That's okay, I'm gonna go into this one now. Uh, so I feel like and sometimes I do feel a bit overwhelmed uh, when I have too many things. And I think that I've become, and that's something that I've learned from my low buy, I've become a lot better at appreciating things from afar. Like I can look at something and I can look at it and I can be, you know what, this is beautiful. I appreciate this release. I think this release is a good release, both for the brand and for the community. It makes a lot of sense, but I don't need to own it. And that is something that I have realized with a lot of things. I feel like last time I was on a low buy, because I was on a low buy for like two, three months in the beginning of 2018, I think. And that's when I realized that it doesn't matter, like if I buy things when they release, I am never going to be the first person on YouTube with a video because I'm in Sweden, 
things take time to get here and I'm just never gonna be the person that's first and that's okay that's okay it's okay to not be number one uh, it's okay to come out with things later and I feel like if you are if you are a youtuber and you are also feeling that you are never the first one on YouTube with a release you're not even the first hundred with a release instead try to be like so what if I upload the hundred and one first video hundred and one hundred and first video that's how you say what am I gonna bring to the table like what is gonna be my special thing and I feel like personally and correct me if I'm wrong what I bring is that I usually don't reach for the same colors or the same combos combos or do the same kind of looks uh, that most youtubers do definitely not unique in this uh, um, in this like YouTube space there are definitely other people out there that do colorful looks and that do very fun and uh, like let's be honest most of the time better looks than me uh, I'm just saying that you have to like figure out so what is gonna be my like claim to fame what is gonna be my thing that is making me stand out making my video worth uploading even though I'm so late and if you don't, if you're gonna do exactly what everybody else did in those first 100 videos, you're not gonna change it up even a little bit, then yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be hard. And maybe if you're buying things just to review, which I normally don't do, I never buy things that I don't want to own. Um, if you're buying things just to review, you better be freaking first. Like that is that is basically it, but I I buy things. Why is it itchy? I buy things to own them because I love makeup and I want to own these things. I want to use them. I also love comparing stuff with each other, like having them at home, um, looking for similarities with he, between like brands and color schemes and stuff like that. That is something that I enjoy doing, and also finding new ways to combine my palettes. So, and there are a couple of things that I've noticed lately. I really like how this color is looking together with this light one, don't you? I think it's so cool. Lately I've noticed that there's been a couple of older palettes um, released like months or maybe even half a year ago that I'm actually still super interested in picking up. And in a way, I'm like, I could wait until my loba is over and just pick them up but I'm also kind of like intrigued by this because that means that I really did want that palette I really wanted it I wanted to own that palette because I still want it and even though nobody's talking about that one on YouTube because you know how it is on YouTube something is released and that is like super hot on YouTube for like two three weeks and then it sizzles, sizzles out and that around that three week mark that usually when I get videos up and yeah what can I say and also that is something that PR it helps me to get some videos up a bit early for example the Nabla video there wasn't a lot of videos up on the Nabla uh, secret palette when I had mine up um, and I mean the money I get from YouTube like AdSense um, is basic that is the money that I buy makeup for I don't at this point use my own paycheck to buy makeup because I can't really justify it like the thing is that I own so much makeup so why would I use my own paycheck now to buy more makeup I don't need any more makeup obviously if I ran out of something and I need to buy it I mean I'll buy it but I feel that it's hard to justify when there are so many other things I'd like to spend my money on as well and when I started this low buy when I started this low buy, I said it wasn't about the money and that is true. It wasn't about the money. It wasn't about trying to save money or anything like that. But a positive side effect of all of this, obviously, has been that I've been able to save even more money because I haven't been spending so much money and also my own money, like my paycheck money um, on makeup because that, I did that. I did that before. I spent... I spent both my AdSense money and my paycheck money uh, on makeup and I, I could afford it because I'm not in debt and I don't have um, I don't have like 
any kids or any loans and I could afford it. It was okay, but my low buy has made me realize that there are actually other things that I want to spend my money on as well. And that has been really refreshing for me because getting to like think about other things you want to spend your money on is exciting. I'm starting to save up for a future house which is super exciting um, and I, I had that like savings account still like I had it um, started from before but Lord knows that this Loba year has definitely helped it uh, and also like we're going to um, to USA for two weeks and it's really expensive to go to US as a Swede right now because the dollar is so crazy high uh, in comparison to the Swedish crown. Basically it's because the Swedish crown is doing so poorly. Uh, it is not doing good right now so it's been really expensive to book everything for US but I've been able because I've been able to save and that's so exciting. So. It wasn't about the money to begin with, but as time progressed, I've started to realize that there are more benefits to this than I thought in the beginning. And that's been really, really interesting and exciting as well, because that's not something that I had in mind when I started that, oh, I'm going to be able to save so much money as well, because I just didn't see it that well. Wait, I love how I've been blending this so that it really look like Mimi. Am I really going to go to my friend's dis dissertation party in this? Hmm. Hmm. I love this teal from Nabla. It is so good and it's so, 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 so much better than um, the blue from the Poison Garden palette. This is this is just something totally different. I do wish though, uh, I do wish though that maybe one of these colors in here was a like something like this that you can blend it out with because this is a really cool look and it would have been cool together with um, these two shades here. But I'm gonna use um, the new mm, ones from Divina instead. I'm gonna do a half cut crease. I think I'm gonna use these pastel ones. I don't really know which ones. Cause I have, uh, I have them here. When I, what do I wanna do? Do I wanna have this one maybe? What's this one called? This one is called Everlasting Gobstoppers. It's like a blue tealy thing. Do I want to have that or do I want to go somewhere totally different? Or do I want to keep it a bit teal? I think maybe I'll keep it a bit teal. So I'll use that one. Uh, let me let me do a half cut crease. I'll do that off camera. I'm gonna use the new uh, Juvia's Place concealer. I have this one in 24, which is the lightest one. So I think that's gonna be really cool together with the topper. Yeah, I'll, I'll, one second. Okay, so I think that I got some kind of concealer going here. But it turned a bit like light green, so now it's like light green in my inner corners. Oh well. <laughs> I'm taking that color that I said I was going to take, like ev Everlasting Gobstoppers. Was, was that it? Oh my. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Anyways, this whole thing with PR. Like... I I want the things I want and if I get them in PR that's amazing and if I don't get them in PR I'll buy them. So I don't think I could be like on a no buy. This shift is crazy because there are still so many things that I'm so intrigued in owning and using and trying that not being able to buy anything would probably be not very fun for me. I don't think I'd enjoy that. And for me, makeup is about enjoying makeup. It's about having fun with makeup. And for me, buying and trying new makeup is part of the fun. And I just didn't want to have too many things because there was a time in 2018 where I got so many things all at once, like bought, um, that I felt like I couldn't try it all and that's what I was trying to like prevent and I feel like I've been doing kind of good with that to be honest because I've been always having like in my, the back of my head why are you buying this are you buying it because you want to show it on YouTube because you want to do a video on it or are you buying it because you want to own it and use it 
but I do videos about everything I buy because I buy them because I am intrigued in them and therefore it's only natural that I want to show you as well. But I try to not be like, I buy this because I want to review it, but I don't necessarily think that I am going to love it. That Those are the things that I am trying to avoid buying and my low bias really helped with that because it's been like, seven good things are coming out this month, but Angie, you are only allowed to buy three. And that's when you really start to think about it. And I think that that is something that I'm gonna keep with me even after this low buy. I'm gonna keep with me this Angie, you can't buy everything. Just because it looks pretty, you can't buy it. And I'm going to be better at just getting the things. I'm using a bit more of this Addiction on a very small refer brush. This is number 03. That I can't buy everything. I have to be like, so what is the best? So that I don't end up buying a lot of stuff just because I think you're going to like seeing it. Because I do get a lot of re like requests to do reviews. But I can't do reviews about everything that comes out. And also I've been a lot smarter than when I buy items. Because I'm so much more aware now in this... That where I am right now in my makeup, like, YouTube career. God, I hate that. <laughs> where I am in my YouTube career right now, I am so much more aware of how long it takes me to try out a palette and review a palette. I can only review so many palettes a month. So I think that that is something that I'm gonna keep with me even after this low buy is over. That it doesn't matter, like, I'm using this uh, other brush, this is O2, lots, lots of refer brushes right now. Um, more addiction under my eyes. That the goal of this low buy isn't to, to stop using makeup or stop buying makeup because I have too much and I don't need more. It's more of like I need to curb it a bit so that I don't end up getting more stuff than I can review and that's when I start to get stressed because I get stressed when I have stuff in my collection that I want to review for you or that I want to use and I never get to it because it's so much new 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 and that's not what I want that's not fun makeup needs to be fun therefore I need to be like so what is the most exciting thing and I try out that thing. This is a lot more intense than I had in mind. I don't know if I'm going to be wearing this to my friend's dissertation party, to be honest. His like parents are coming from, um, uh, what is it called? Canada? What is it called? And I don't want like make them totally think that I'm crazy. <laughs> Although I will be will say that I don't really care what people think about me and my makeup, but I also don't want to be the center of attention when it's somebody else's big day. I mean, getting your PhD is like getting married. Let's be honest. It's it, it's a big deal. It's a huge deal. I think I'm gonna take a bit of this black and just deepen up the absolute outer V. I have been also contemplating because this low buy has showed me that when it all comes down to it, if I can only pick three things, I'm gonna basically almost always pick three eyeshadow things every month. That's what I want to get. So I am kind of thinking now when I go to US that I am gonna allow myself to buy like cheek products and lip products outside of my low buy because I haven't bought any of those for like seven months. I haven't bought any of those for like seven months and maybe... <laughs> oh yeah, I bought those from Colourpop, never mind. But maybe it could be fun because some things are not available here. We haven't gotten it to Sweden or we might never get it to Sweden. So I'm thinking about allowing myself to buy only cheek products and lip products that are not available in Sweden while I'm in US, but no eyeshadows. But yeah, let me know how you feel about that. Although I'm not sure if this is going up maybe while I'm in US to be honest, but I'm th I have been thinking about that. That ha The thought has crossed my mind just because of the fact that I haven't bought like any of those and I still love those but I haven't bought them. I love this makeup look. 
isn't this like so cool? I don't know how I feel about this edge. I'm having a... I love this as well. I wiped off a, a brush on my hand. I'm having Indie Beauty. This is Tres Lindgren. It's this big, big, big Swedish YouTuber. I'm having her liquid lipstick on. It's Edlia. It's... It's kind of comfy, but I'm not sure. There's a bit of a rim. Not that bad though, but a bit. A bit of a rim. I'm gonna do some eyeliner. Have I talked about everything I wanted to talk about? I don't know. I'm gonna do some eyeliner. I'm gonna find something for my waterline and I'll put I'll put everything on. I'll finish this up. I'll finish this up and I'll be back and we can have a final chat. Am I gonna have this on tonight? It's really cool though. It's really cool. Hmm. Okay, I'll finish this up and I'll be right back. Wow, that was like embar embarrassingly. Embar embarrassingly? Embarrassingly. Long in real life, I've had a snack, I've walked the dog, I've done a lot of things that I shouldn't be doing, I should be like just coming back and finishing up this video, but I didn't, but now I'm here, I put on some lashes, I have the, oh it's hidden under the tablecloth, <laughs> don't ask, I have the Thomas Sicilius and Swede lashes on, I thought a, a dramatic look deserved a dramatic lash, and I am really liking this look, I'm probably gonna switch out the lip for tonight, I think I'm gonna pull in something beige cool tone for this look? What do you think? Because I think I'm gonna wear this. I, I, I'm I looking in the viewfinder now and this is seriously such a rad and cool look. And if you look at like the eye look, like the shimmers, I don't know if it shows on camera, but it is a duochrome. It is a purple to teal flip in this, what was it? Ever, everlasting gobstop, gob, gobstoppers? That's such a weird name. Davina always has the weirdest names, but I love this look and I'm so happy that I played another time with this one. This teal is divine. And I got to play with an old um, Coastal Sense shadow. How nice is that? I think that was everything. I hope you liked this video. Have I talked about everything I wanted to talk about? Because I've been out for so long. Did I leave any loose ends? I hope not. But this whole low buy thing has been good for me. Am I still getting a lot of things in PR that I wouldn't have got if I wasn't like an influencer? Yeah. But am I reviewing them and making at least you make informed decisions on whether or not to buy them or not? I feel so and I am giving away a lot of the stuff that I am getting to to you. I did some uh, giveaways recently. I don't know if it's still open or if I just closed it, but I will have another one real soon. Don't you worry, because I, I already have some stuff that I want to give away. And I also am giving to friends and co-workers and I have a big bag of stuff that I'm going to donate to uh, a local women's shelter. So. I don't know. Is it unnecessary? In a bit, yeah. But I'm also saying no to a lot of PR and this low buy has helped me as well with what things that I should say no to because I'm like, no, I shouldn't accept more PR from this brand because they mainly have eyeshadows and I won't be able to review any more eyeshadows right now. So I do say no to a lot of brands. I've said no to a lot of brush brands because I already knew that I had like these brushes from uh, Refer coming in and I was like, you know what, I won't be able to review any more uh, of those. Same with skincare because I have so much new skincare from Pixie that I'm trying out so I have said no to a lot of PR about skincare because I'm not going to be able to try out more things and skincare really isn't my forte as well so I feel like reviewing some things at a time is like more than enough for me. So I feel like I'm I feel like I'm doing a good job. Would I be getting or buying these many things if I wasn't on YouTube? No. Do I recommend you to go out and have a low buy just like mine? Yeah, I do. Because buying three things a month is a great idea. Uh, obviously, I am getting more than three things a month because I am getting some PR. But I think I'd be fine without the PR as well, to be honest. Because I have been very excited about the things that I bought. And I think that is, I think that is everything. Uh, let me know if you think that me buying a couple of like cheek products or lip products outside of my low buy rules are totally absolutely horrible. Let me know down in the comments. I, I myself feel like I haven't really bought that many of those and there are a couple of things that I kind of really want that don't seem to be coming here. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna be able to pick them up while I'm in US. And I'm in US um, beginning of June, end of July. And to be fair, maybe I'll still be able to do this within my low buy rule. I just wanna give myself a little bit of flexibility and leverage because I 
most of the makeup that I review is from US and I don't go to US that often even though I've been to US like three years in a row now so who am I talking to? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, sorry for blabbering about a bunch. Let me know down below if there's something that you thought that I should touch on in this video that I didn't because I'd love to know. My low buy ends on October 31st, 2019. So that's when I am off my low buy. There are a couple of things that I kind of want to get when I'm off my low buy. Would you like to see a video like that? Things that are on my, when I'm off my low buy wish list. Cause I have like, I have like five things that I can think of right now, which probably means there's about five more things that I can think of if I really sit down and think about it. But there's a couple of things that I have like, I really want to own this, I really want to use this, I really want to, like, try this. But I won't necessarily need it right now because I won't be able to do a video on it. Does this make sense? Because I, I still, like, if, if it's an older thing that I want, I might as well just wait a couple of more months instead of buying it new now within my low buy rules when I'm not going to be really able to make a YouTube video on it anyways. I'm trying to combine the two since, like I said, I am buying makeup out of the AdSense money that I'm getting. It makes sense to try to at least get some AdSense money so that I can at least buy the makeup I want. <laughs> and yeah, that will be everything. I will see you in my next video, which is probably going to be tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. That's how it is here on my channel, and I will see you then. Bye!